Hi, I'm Mike. Cows can seem like simple, even dumb creatures, but you'd be surprised how fascinating they can be. Did you know a cow shares over 80% of their genes with humans? Or that a cow can see almost 360 degrees around them, and their blind spots are right behind them, and oddly enough, right in front of them. Today, we take a look at the cows of the ranch on our Wyoming Life. Welcome to our Wyoming Life, where we post videos three times per week straight from the ranch. Whatever we have going on, from haying to gardening to cooking, it's all right here. And I hope you can take the time to subscribe and join us as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. Without cows, there'd be no ranch. This has been cattle country for hundreds of years. There have been wars fought right on this land between small ranchers, rustlers, and big time cattlemen. There's evidence of cattle drives moving through as ranchers took cattle north and south in the 1800s, either for sale or for a better grazing land. The county we live in is still in the top 25 cattle producing counties in the US. And when it comes down to the history of this ranch over the past 100 years, we have one creature to thank, and that's a cow. Today we take a look at our bovine friend and invite you to comment if you have any cow facts or stories that you want to throw out there. It's calving season here on the ranch and that seems, well, just as good as any place to start. A cow was pregnant for nine months, just like humans. And let me tell you, by the end of pregnancy, they are moody, temperamental, and even sometimes unpredictable. While pregnant, a cow is going to gain about 150 pounds, and each pregnancy after that, she'll actually gain a little bit more. Over her lifetime on the ranch, a cow will have about nine calves. Our oldest cow on the ranch, 80, has had 16 calves. She's not pregnant this year, and she's actually living with the heifers, our first-time moms, as a chaperone and a part-time nanny. When a calf is born, it weighs between 60 and 100 pounds. Within an hour of birth, the calf will stand, walk, and drink from its mom. But bigger calves can mean more problems for moms as well as multiple calves. Most ranchers I know would rather have a single calf than a set of twins. Twins mean more work and more babysitting on the rancher's part. Possibly even bottle feeding one if mom can't take care of it. The chance of having twins are one out of every 100 births in this area, and if you want to go for triplets, your odds are one in 100,000, and quadruplets are one in 11 million, almost the same as winning the lottery. Cows eat, almost constantly. And when they aren't eating, they're digesting, which looks like eating. The average cow here will eat about 30 pounds of food per day. She will spend six hours of her day eating that food and another eight hours of her day chewing her cud. Many believe that cows have four stomachs, and if you're one of them, well, you're wrong and you're right. A cow has one stomach, but it has four distinct compartments. Each compartment has a different job. The first, the rumen, holds up to 50 gallons of food and water, which the cow regurgitates to chew over and over again, breaking down the food. After that, it heads into the reticulum, which is kind of like a filter, trapping anything the cow shouldn't have eaten. Rocks, a piece of garbage, whatever it might be. The omasum then filters and squeezes out the water, and the final compartment, the abomasum, passes nutrients into the bloodstream. Then you add in water, each cow drinking about 15 to 30 gallons per day depending on the weather outside and the temperature. When all that food and water goes in, something has to come out. And cows poop up to 65 pounds per day depending on their water consumption. And each year can create 10 tons of manure, the weight equivalent of five average cars. Moving back to the other end of the cow, the less smelly one, one of the first things you notice is the eyes on each side of their head. So let's talk about cow's eyesight. Grab a matador's cape and let's wave it around. Another misconception about cows, especially bulls, the males, is that they attack the color red. I don't mean to burst your bubble, but the red cape 
is just for show, as cows are actually red-green colorblind. They can see colors, but red and green are seen as a variation of gray or black. They can see a muted version of yellow and blue, but unlike humans, cows only have two color receptors in their eyes. They may not be that into colors, but they are sensitive to contrasts in colors. Shadows will spook them, as well as reflections. When moving and working around cattle, it's also important to know what they see. Cows can see in almost 360 degrees around them. But just like you flying down the interstate, they have blind spots. Directly behind them and directly in front of them. They also suffer from poor depth perception, which is why when a cow is trying to figure out how far away you are, she'll often lower her head. Not because she's going to charge, but because she's trying to figure out if you're a threat. Then she may charge. So watch out. That forward view is also blocked by another of the cow's sense organs, her nose. Cows have an acute sense of smell and can detect odors from up to six miles away, whether it be food or danger. Light on her feet, a cow is not. They can be clumsy and awkward, but if you ever seen one run, you know they can get up and move. Cows have been clocked sprinting at around 30 miles per hour for short distances and can sustain a run of about 8 to 10 miles per hour. Not bad, considering she weighs almost 1,500 pounds. And usually, a cow will run towards or with other cows. They form very strong bonds and friendships with other cows and have been known to hang out with their best friends. Cows can be very cliquish, and the hierarchy of the herd starts with the boss cow. Cows that don't like her or listen to her are often ostracized, and a new addition to the herd may have to build up relationships and trust with other cows before she's accepted. Cows also come in many shapes and sizes. There are over 800 breeds of cattle in the world, from Texas Longhorns to the Watusi to the miniature panda cow, currently the rarest breed of cow in the world, with only about 30 in total. Here we raise Angus, both red and black Angus, but we are diverse. A few of our cows also have a mix of Hereford in them, giving them the white coloration in their face. Some bronco-faced and some baldies. Beef cattle, like we raise here, are raised for meat production and dairy cattle are raised to produce milk. And while we're talking about milk, all cows produce white milk. A survey from the Innovation Center for U.S. Dairy found that 7% of American adults think that chocolate milk comes from brown cows. I'll save you from doing the math. That's over 17 million people. Nope, all cows make white milk. Cocoa beans make chocolate milk. If you'd like to come explore the ranch life with us, we invite you to subscribe and come with us as we escape the ordinary. Each and every week, we bring you more from the ranch. We take you with us as we work cattle, we help calves be born, garden for farmer's market, gather eggs, cook homemade ranch style dinners, and so much more. This life is rewarding in so many different ways, but one of the best is that we're able to share it with you. Comment below, leave us your cow observations, your facts, and your stories, and then go through and read others, learn more, and join our community. Find us on Facebook and Instagram for content you can't find anywhere else, and I'll see you next time. Until then, have a great week, and thanks for joining us in our Wyoming life. Man, it's cold out here.